Well, we're at the 2014 Apex Show, and with me is Jay Spope, and he's an engineer with Daco. And you know what? There are some new vehicles today that have to have something called an aramid core in the drive belt. Absolutely necessary, and here's why. Jay, tell us a little bit more about that. You bet. Well, in some of the applications that they always have, they, they require more than just a polyester cord in their belts. In, in essence, we, we actually recommend and, and appreciate the, the fact that the polyester cord will absorb those energies, and, and, and that's mostly what's recommended. But there are certain drives that, because of really two reasons, one, either there's not enough take up, in other words, physical space within the drive where the tincture has to be able to take up the belt. There's just not enough there, and because of the stretch of the polyester, it'll re require an issue with, with it as it comes through the life of the belt. Uh, just think about this. Polyester has been with us for a long, long time. Uh, it has the ability to absorb energy and, 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 and dampen vibration. But, like Jay just said, there are some vehicles that there's just no place to put that tensioner. It doesn't have a lot of room, and so perhaps over the life of the tensioner, it could never take up the stretch of the belt. And that's what we're talking about. So now we get into a polyester cord, and this is what you really got to tell us about. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, and it gets into this issue called tensile modulus, or the, or the cord of the belt, where the polyester will, because of either dynamic loading with, with all the accessory loads or with the tensions, the polyester is going to stretch some over the life. Also, because of rib wear, you're going to get that stretch. Well, the, the, the tensile cord, called the aramid, has a very, very high tensile modulus, and therefore will not allow it to stretch. So, so that's why, as the tensioner, as soon as it's, we design it the length such that whenever it starts brand new, that's pretty much the length it'll stay throughout the life of that belt. So that's a really critical part of why the OEs have had to go to aramid on those drives that are just so tight with no, no take up in the tensioner. That's one side. The, the other really side of why they've done this is because of engine harmonics or, or things called vibration into the belt, there's certain span lengths that uh, they've done testing over time where there's a span length in the belt that will cause vibration. And because of that span vibration, you're going to get noise or extra wear or, or trouble in the drive. And so what happens is, is we can change that cord, which is the strength of the belt, to, to an aramid. You no longer get that stretch and that harmonic, and we will, are able to get, get out of that issue of natural resonance or frequency of that belt so that it, it doesn't cause that uh, span vibration like it did. So the two issues, and that's why the OEs have gone that way, and that's why we at DACO have decided that if, if all the testing that was performed early on in the drive to, to build that application, if they required it for one of those specific reasons for the OE, we're going to also provide that belt in the aftermarket as well. So here again, if the OE spent all that time and energy and money uh, and decided that this is what they need for the OE to solve those issues, that's exactly what you need too on our vehicles, right? So if you have a vehicle and it needs an aramid cord in there, uh, this is what you need to get. And Daco is the place to get it.